And now answering questions from the YouTube comment section with the bird. From the building a pyramid head cosplay in less than 24 hours video, uh, not pineapple asks, do you have the dimension for the helmet you used? I'm making my first ever costume for Halloween this year, and my friends don't believe that I can do it, so now I kind of have to, you know? Yes, not pineapple, I do believe you have to. And also, your friends suck. Just kidding, I'm, I'm sure they're fine. But um, anyway, you want to know the dimensions of the pyramid cosplay? I'm going to measure them right now for you. In fact... All right, not pineapple. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you here. I just kind of eyeballed it, so I never actually did any proper measurements. Okay, so for the main portion of the helmet, there's uh, seven pieces. We got the side piece. We got the front piece. We got the other side piece. And then four of these little triangles along the back. I recommend using boxes or cardboard or something to make a test model of the size of the helmet to make sure it fits you. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and do some dimensions here, starting with the front plate. Got about 38 inches. That's going to be for both of these front two sides. 38, 38. The bottom is 9 inches. Can you see that? I don't even know. A little over 9 inches. 38, 38, 9. Now, for the side pieces. These sides, these dimensions are going to be the exact same for both of these front sides. The hypotenuse is going to be 38 because that's the length of the other side. This side, side A will go, will say, is about, about 23 and a half inches. And lastly, the bottom, about 23 and a half, close to 24. You're going to want this side to be 24, 23 and a half, and then 38. Do that for both sides. Now you have the front, you got the sides. But what about the back pieces? Well, thankfully, the back pieces are all the same. Ignore the crappy joint job. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to do it a lot better. I was rushing on this. I had one day to do it. These are all going to be about the same size. It's kind of weird, right? So you're going to have two on one side, and then you're going to flip your pattern over and have two on the other side. I hope that makes sense. If not, I'll draw it out later. But all of the dimensions, all of the sizes of all four of these pieces are going to be approximately, or are going to be the same. So we can just measure once here. Uh, 23. Makes sense. It matches up with this side. 23 inches on that side, and 23 and a half on the other side. So 23, 23 and a half, six inches on the bottom here. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna have two pieces. Well, you're gonna have four pieces that are all the same dimensions, except for two of them, you're flipping the pattern over. And then the bottom, I literally just freehanded, like the, uh, the cuff around here, I guess, is the way to put it. The cuff I just freehanded. Make some, you could take some uh, tape or paper or something and just kind of wrap around the bottom. <laughs> All right, well, my camera died, so that's awesome. Um, anyway, so we're gonna just finish it up here. You can use like paper or tape or something to make your um, your border around at the bottom. And then you basically just have to line up all the pieces here. As for how I see out of it, uh, this isn't the best option, but it's the option that I had at the time. I'm using this like screen. I might put a black liner or something in here later to uh, kind of hide my face a little bit more but the visibility out of this is pretty great. So hopefully that helps. Uh, I know that was a little jank, but um, my advice to you is just have fun with it. I mean, there's the basic dimensions. There's a broken fan that I have to fix, uh, but hopefully that helps. Good luck to you. Show your friends up, show them how cool you are making cool Halloween costumes. And uh, yeah, best of luck to you. Hopefully that helps. I figured I'd throw this part in too. I literally threw it. So this is just, uh, this is just like foam. Um, you can tell I'm using the like garage mat foams. There's better foams that you can use, but this stuff works perfectly well. Just not really much for joints, ignore that. Oh, it's on the other side too, whatever. So this is just, um, this is just foam with a PVC pipe down the middle. And um, yeah, they just kind of sandwiched it together. It's all held together by contact cement, which means it's never coming apart ever, unless I intentionally try to destroy it. Let me see about measurements. Okay, so this part of the blade is from here to the tip is 38 inches. Um, literally just cut it like a giant knife. This part here is seven inches. Uh, and then this is just however long you want the handle to be. It does get a little front heavy, so I recommend dragging it around, but hopefully that helps. And um, I'm sorry my camera died and this went like, well, Whatever. Anyway, say goodbye to my broken fan, and I will uh, catch you guys in the next video.